think I'm going to need alcohol to talk about this book. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of The Book Report, presented by The Millions. I am Mike. I am Janet. Well, it's almost Thanksgiving, so we decided to pick a book to read that would just remind you of spending quality time with the family around a warm fire. Uh, no, we didn't. We, we chose a, a book, perhaps unintentionally, that's uh, filled with some of the most depressing short stories that I've ever read. Um, the book is by John McManus, and it's called Fox Tooth Heart. Uh, that's right. It, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. But it is, it is, without a doubt, one of the most depressing books um, I think I've read in a long time. Uh, there are some like moments of humor in there. But it, um, all in all, it's, it's, you know, wouldn't really call it. And when I say humor, I don't it's remember very, that. very black humor. And I, I say that in a in a good way because I really enjoyed a lot of these stories, and I think he's an excellent writer. But um, yeah, they're they're very difficult to read. A bunch of teenage boys. Most of them are poor. Um, a lot of them are like school dropouts. Um, they're all doing drugs and stuff. Like it's just a lot of like dysfunctional young men mm -hmm. um, making their way through life in as destructive way as possible. It, it really is like a, a, almost like a catalog of the ways things can go wrong um, for, for young men. And it kind of, it starts off with a, a story about a young uh, rock star who accidentally kills his girlfriend and then kind of goes on the run. Um, and it, the stories just sort of get more depressing from there. Like that's, that's kind of the funniest and the, the most lighthearted book comparatively. Yeah, uh, and there's like and a the, psychic elephant in that story. There's one story where it's actually about a rich kid, um, a rich sort of closeted gay kid. It ends with, with something really sad, but not what you're thinking. It's, it comes out of left field completely. It's like uh, it's like you're preparing yourself to get punched in the gut, you know, like tensing your muscles up, and then someone hits you in the head. Like that's sort of this whole book. That yeah, that's exactly right. It's you <laughs> you kind of prepare yourself for something bad to happen, and then something uh, equally bad but that you didn't see coming happens. And I think potentially about the fact that when you're a teenage boy, I'm guessing, like, you're going through all kinds of stuff at a time when you are least likely to do so in a healthy way or to seek help or to express your feelings to anybody. <laughs> yeah. And so there's, yeah, exactly. like, cyclones of mental <laughs> instability. There was one story that I particularly liked, and I think you're going to know which one it is. It's a story about a young man who discovers that he is a clone of Thomas Jefferson. Do it. He finds out that he's a clone of Thomas Jefferson, and that there are several clones of Thomas Jefferson um, growing up in America at the same time, and they're all the same age. Um, and the four that he meets are all growing up in privileged families, and he's growing up in a very poor, dysfunctional family in the South, and the um, hypothesis that the other boys have is that he was the, like, experiment one. It's like, right. if you clone Thomas Jefferson but don't give him any leg up in the world, what happens? Which is a fascinating premise for a short story. I really loved it. But then what this boy wonders is like, well, did we also invent his, his flaws? Like, um, cause it's true that Thomas Jefferson was a total jerk. Like, thanks for America, but sure. he was not a nice person. You know? yeah. and, uh, he was a total snob and he was like very, uh, like cold-blooded. John McManus is from Virginia, which is where Thomas Jefferson is from, and is very canonized. And it made me wonder uh, what his opinion of Jefferson is, because he Jefferson is a good person to choose for this story, um, in that he's so lionized. But also, I'm not sure I want to meet a clone of Thomas Jefferson. A lot of the the Jefferson clones were were sort of casually cruel in this story, and it. A lot of the characters in these stories are casually cruel to other people, and 
you're never quite sure why. And I think this interesting theme he has going on is that these, a lot of these people who are victims themselves of circumstance or poverty or family abuse um, act out with casual cruelty towards other people. Um, you know, in, in a vicious cycle kind of thing, and it's in kind of the way that uh, that he writes about it, because it's never dramatic. It's just like, then she shot this guy, you know, or, or you know, then he he did this to his wife or whatever. It's just very matter of fact. Teenage boys are awful. Thomas Jefferson was a dick. Um, and, you know, be careful who hits on you in gay bars are all things we can learn from this this great fourth book by John McManus. Join us in a couple weeks on the book report when we will be presenting our annual year in reading. And until then, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you soon. We'll never walk alone, Jen. Never walk alone, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know.